Hey Bentley. Hey Bentley, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Let's go play. Go play. Go play. Says I gotta eat my grass first. I love my grass. Right. Right. Good boy. Good boy. I know. So this is Bentley. Bentley came to us, gosh, a couple months ago. Um, he was born. He was born with a um, a defect that um, didn't allow him to pee normally. Actually, just about everything in this area. So everything that allows him to urinate and defecate is not normal. He's had um, he's had one surgery and then kind of a follow up uh, exam at the surgeons to try to get him rewired correctly. So I'm going to show you. He had to because he wasn't urinating normally. He had to have everything redone. So he actually had the distal end of his penis removed and he now urinates out of the back of his, um, just, just below where his anus is. So he has no testicles and he has no penis. So he sort of had to be rerouted and rewired. Um, he is now pretty much urinary and fecal incontinent. So he does not know that he has to pee and he just leaks pee all the time. We've put him on a supplement to try to manage that and it does not seem to be working. Whenever I talk to people about pets and you know managing the difficult medical cases, um, for me it's always about they have to have some sort of quality of life, which he, you know, we question whether or not we're providing him and they also have to be functional. So functional for me means that they have to be eating, drinking, peeing, and pooping. As far as the able to move part, there are a lot of dogs who are handicapped or um, have uh, you know bad joints or bad legs and can do okay on a cart um, but this guy really you know he soils his bedding all the time because he's leaking urine all the time and that makes it very hard to manage him um, he's actually just ripping pee now so he doesn't really know that he's going and he doesn't really know how to manage that so we have invested a couple thousand dollars into him um, which, which we had a long talk in the beginning about whether or not we wanted to help him and we actually were very lucky to get some donors to help him to try to give him a chance and that was what, that's what we have done. We have given him a chance. We love him and we desperately want him to find a good home but asking someone to have a dog who cannot urinate or defecate on their own and who is this big is a really big ask. So I'm not sure that we're going to find him a home. Um, and if that's the case, I'm not sure, you know, what the next step for him is going to be. He came to us because if he didn't come to us, he was going to be euthanized. So he has been alive and happy for months longer than he ever would have had otherwise. Um, but, but this is the reality of, of life. You know, if we can't find someone who will love him and take care of him amongst all of the, all of the conditions and, and extra care that he needs, then he will be humanely euthanized. And nobody wants to do that, nobody wants to say that, but we invested in him initially to give him a chance and none of those things manifested in, in the way that we hoped. We really hoped that if we did the surgery for him, he would be functional again, so able to urinate and defecate on his own, and then we can find him a home. Um, you know, the family that had him before has put some pressure on us to keep him in spite of his disabilities and it's really not fair. So, so I'm not going to address that. Hopefully I'm not gonna have to address it publicly, but I am gonna put it in this video. We have done the very best that we can for him and we've put everything into him that we can and there's nothing more medically or surgically that can be done to help him. He is just going to be a dog who cannot urinate or defecate on his own normally. And you know, and if we can't find him a home to manage that, then we're not gonna banish him to a cage and um, and or to being an outside dog because he will get lots of problems with that. So even, you know, even the cats who are too feral and we can find a barn home for, he can't just go live outside on his own and function because he's going to have challenges and issues because of his urinary and, um, you know, and, and disabilities with urinating and defecating on his own. So, so I'm going to put this video out to see if there's anybody out there who would love to have a young, happy dog who presents a lot of challenges. He would have to be, we would have to find the right home for him. So somebody who's okay with keeping him in a cage as he needed. So, so here's, here's about the third time that he has defecated on his own and that looks normal, but it's not always the case. He sometimes sort of leaks poop. Um, certainly the defecation department is a lot better than the urination department. Um, 
So he would have to be in a home that he is pretty much kept created. I know you're so happy. Kept created a lot of the time so that when he does soil his bedding, it can be changed. We have to change them five to eight times a day. He gets a bath three to four times a day and it's a lot of work. Um, that doesn't mean that he's not a wonderful dog who wants to be loved and, and have a home of his own, but medically, I'm not sure that we can fit the bill that, that he requires. So I'm asking people to share this video. I'm asking people to be kind and gentle and understand that we have done, uh, we've done everything that we can, including financially investing a couple thousand dollars into him and taking care of him to try to give him the best chance possible. But I don't think that we really, we didn't, we didn't succeed with him, unfortunately. So, um, so this is what we're at, where we're at. He will stay with us for for as long as we can keep him and then if we can't find a home for him we're all gonna have to sit down and decide what would be best for him and that unfortunately might be um, the same the same scenario that he came to us with we can't provide him the the, the care and the attention and then and the and all the things that he needs to have a, a healthy functional life um, and sometimes you just don't win them all I appreciate everyone sharing this and I appreciate your kindness and your sympathy because really we did not take the easy way out. We took a case that nobody else would take and sometimes you just don't win. But that doesn't mean that you don't try as hard as you can and that doesn't mean that you um, don't prepare for worst case scenario and that doesn't mean that you don't stand by sometimes not being able to, to save every single soul that you invest yourself into. Take care everybody. Wish him luck. He desperately needs it. He'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, would you stop eating grass? Would you stop? Would you stop? He says it's almost dinner time. Get your butt over here.